Will here from Vetus Maxwell. I'm here to show you how to service your HRC FF windlass. I'm gonna give you a big tip on making it easier to service this windlass. You're gonna go on the fore deck and you're gonna flip this lever up. You're gonna go back to the helm, power the windlass up, and you're gonna hold the down button for a count of 20. And what that's gonna do is run the windlass and loosen this clutch nut for you. It's gonna make it a lot easier to take it apart and you're not gonna have to use this handle and crank on the windlass to try and loosen the clutch nut. Big tip. When that's done, turn the power off to the windlass, come back up and flip the lever back down, and now we're gonna take this thing apart. You're gonna need a five millimeter Allen key and a small flat blade screwdriver to take this apart. So the flat blade screwdriver is used just to pop this cover off, make it a lot easier. So to take it apart, there are screws that hold the side of the case on. And there's four of them. So when you've loosened the four screws, the side of the case will come right off. When you have the side of the case off, that's the pressure arm that's in this unit. Now this is a wear item, so when you take it apart to service it, check your pressure arm to make sure it's not worn out. So we're gonna take this clutch nut off and take the chain wheel off and grease both sides of it and put it back in. So right now I'm taking off the washer and the, the retaining nut. Because I powered it down, I've already loosened this clutch nut, so it'll spin right off. That's the clutch nut that we loosened when we powered it down. We're gonna be greasing this surface. Now sometimes when you take it apart, the washer will come off, sometimes it'll still be on. You wanna take the washer off also. So you got the washer and the clutch nut. And at this point, chain wheel slides right off. So we're gonna take the chain wheel off, we're gonna grease the inside pockets of the chain wheel. And then there's one more washer you've got to get off. At this point, we want to take the inner clutch cone off so we can inspect the seal on the shaft. This seal looks good. There's no wear or cracks in it. I'm going to take the inner clutch cone and put it back on the shaft. And now we're ready to grease the windlass. We're going to take our waterproof trailer wheel bearing grease. We're going to grease the inside clutch cone. Grab the chain wheel. I'm gonna grease inside the chain wheel. Now this chain wheel has a plastic cover on it that we need to line up in the housing. So I've lined up the plastic cover. Gonna put the washer back on. Gonna grease up inside the chain wheel. Clutch nuts going back on. Now I'm gonna take the pressure arm, which I've checked to make sure is in good condition. The pressure arm has these tabs on it. There are four of them. Down in the housing right here is a hole that I'm gonna put this tab in. So the pressure arm's in place. So now we're gonna put the housing back on. So you're gonna grab the housing and you wanna make sure that you put the tab on the pressure arm, that white part, you wanna put it in that little hole. That hole right there. So it's in the hole. If I tighten up one screw, there we go. So I'm tightening up all four screws. If you notice my Allen key is long, it's so that I can keep my hands up and off the deck. So if you get a long five millimeter Allen key, it'll be a lot easier. So 
So I've tightened up all the screws. I've got one screw left to go. There's the retaining screw and washer. Put that back in. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is put the gray cap back in. Now, big tip here on how to tighten up your clutch nut and make it easy just like you took it off. This lever needs to be down. You're going to go back to the windlass switch, turn the power back on, and you're going to power the windlass up till the anchor comes back in the bow roller. That will automatically tighten this clutch nut for you and save you a lot of time. If you don't do that, then you have to tighten it by hand with the handle. So big tip there. So that's how you service your HRC FF. Thank you for watching. Be sure and check out our other videos on Vitas.com.